पीपल लेट्स गो हेड एंड डू मिसलेनियस प्रोविजन नाउ मिसलेनियस प्रोविजन में एंटी प्रॉफिटरिंग एंड नेशनल एंटी प्रॉफिटरिंग का वन चार्ट इज देयर राइट एवरीवन ऑल्दो नॉट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू बट मिसलेनियस प्रोविजन इफ यू गो एंड सी इन योर चैप्टर ऑफ मिसलेनियस प्रोविजन दिस चार्ट बिकम्स ए ग्रेडेड Are we clear, everyone? In a C graded chapter, A graded topic. Let's go ahead and understand quickly anti-profit ring and national anti-profit ring authority. See, people are doing profit ring. For profit ring, government is going going ahead and getting anti-profit ring ka rules. And if people are going ahead and doing profit ring, there is a authority known as national anti-profit ring authority who will catch you and they will go ahead and penalize you. Are we clear, sir? What do you mean by profit ring? Let's understand profit ring. Listen to me very carefully. Very interesting. You tell me, sir. GST rate on food item earlier when GST came was eighteen percent. So one you went to uncle to have dosa, masala dosa. Uncle told twenty rupees. Plus he went ahead and charged you eighteen percent. He charged twenty five rupees for the dosa. He was making how much profit? One rupee forty paisa. GST rate reduced by if GST rate was increased by the government. Will he increase the GST immediately and the rate of dosa immediately? Yes, sir. GST rate reduced, increased by the government burden on you. GST rate reduced by the government benefit also should be going to you. If he doesn't go ahead, see over here, rate reduced by from eighteen to five percent. From eighteen, it is reduced to five. So it means GST is one rupee. Still, he is selling at twenty five only. Uncle, uncle, why are you still selling at twenty five rupees? You are making. Four rupees profit now means you are making two point six zero rupees profit, which should have come to my pocket. If GST would have gone up, you would have taken from my pocket. GST has come down, you should give it to my pocket. If you don't give it to my profit pocket, you are doing profiting, making extra profit because of GST rate coming down is profiting. You are going ahead and doing profit ring and national anti profit ring authority. Go, I will complain. You cry, go to go and complain. They will go ahead and catch hold of him, cancel his registration, impose penalty. Sir, one more thing you tell me. Everyone listen. Earlier, free flow of credit was not there, so you you never used to get the credit. Whenever you never used to get the credit, cost of the goods used to go up. Now, because of coming of GST, free flow of credit is there. Cost of goods should come down for you. Yes or no? And the cost of goods is coming down because of what GST? Because of the coming of GST, if cost of goods is coming down, your selling price also should come down. People are not reducing their selling price. Cost is coming down. Cost is going up. You would have hit it on the head of the buyer, consumer. Cost is coming down because of GST. The benefit also should be given to consumer. If you don't give, you are doing profit ring. See earlier the credit was. GST introduced in 2017, leading to what? Free flow of credit reduction in cost. Sir, credit was two rupees, cost was twenty, selling price was twenty-five, profit you are making five rupees. With the coming of GST, credit has increased now. Free flow of credit is there because of that your cost has come down, but you are still selling at the same price. Means you are trying to do profit ring, excess profit due to reduction in tax. When government has reduced the tax, you should also reduce your selling price and pass on the burden, sir. Benefit of ITC if commensurate benefit, commensurate means here you made two rupees, no? You told okay, fine. No one will come to know. One I'll give, one I'll give to customer. Equal benefit has to be passed on to the consumer. How much GST rate came down? Whatever was the benefit, total benefit has to be passed on to the consumer. Commensurate benefit shall be passed on to the consumer. If you don't pass, you are guilty of profit ring, national anti profit ring to deal against such. Suppliers, profiting means to make unfair profits illegally. Anti-profiting measures are introduced in GST to prevent suppliers from profiting, so that people don't do profiting. Did you understand, everyone? GST rate came down. Benefits should be passed on to consumer. People don't go ahead and pass on the benefit. Keep their benefit in there. Keep the benefit of the consumer in their pocket. That is known as profiting. GST came. Cost came down. Sir, because ITC you are getting more, so your cost came down. Supplier ka selling price also should come down, but you did not reduce the selling price. You made extra profit, and that is known as profit ring. You know what happened? This is supposedly over here, Rakesh, and Rakesh started crying. Sir, my masala dosa, he did not reduce the price. What will Rakesh do, everyone? Rakesh will go ahead and file an application with evidence. Sir, you see, 
earlier when GST rate was 18% masala dosa 25. Now GST rate is 5% masala dosa 35. It means this, this shopkeeper is doing profit ring. Are we clear everyone? So complaint for profit ring can be filed by consumer. Might be an organization. Might be any supplier who is there. Might be a trader who is there. Might, a supplier who is there who is going ahead and supplying. His supplier is doing profit ring. Or might be a trader or retailer. Anyone can go ahead and file a complaint. Whoever is hurt. Whoever is telling, sir, I am not getting the profit which I should have gone. Means he is doing profit ring, sir. The benefit should have come to me. Are we clear? So, in that scenario, whoever is crying, first we will go ahead and file an application. Remember one thing. There is one is standing committee and one is state level screening committee. One is standing committee, one is state level screening committee. If your, if your problem which is there is a state ka problem. Then first you have to go to state level screening committee. If your problem is a national problem, for an example, McDonald's, across India they have the restaurant, that's a national impact ka problem. In that scenario, see, if complaint involves an issue of national nature, all India impact, then directly go to the standing committee. But sir, if it's a complaint of local nature, hey, this uncle over here, shopkeeper, he is doing profit ring. Is it a national impact ka problem? No. So, in that scenario, state level screening committee you should go to. Everyone listen. You should go to standing committee if it is of national impact. Means across India, this complaint is going to have a benefit to consumers. In that scenario, go to state uh, standing committee. Otherwise, you should go to state level screening committee. Everyone, by chance, I directly went over here then. Then they will not throw your application. They will send the application to whom? Screening committee. They will screen the application. Listen. If it comes from here, also they will screen and send it over here. If by if it comes over here, then it will directly go here. But if it comes over here and it is relating to an application which is relating to <coughs> state level, local nature, then sir, they will send it over here, they will screen and it will come back over here. Are we clear everyone? Everyone over here. You should go ahead and file an application. If complaints involves issue relating to national or all India impact directly with the Standing committee, otherwise your complaint should go to the state level screening committee. Baba, they will go ahead. State level screening committee will go ahead and ensure that sir, supplier has contravened the provision of 171. Basically, they will first ensure before sending it to the National Entry Profiteering Authority, first they will ensure whether actually there is a profiteering which is happening or not. Then they will go ahead, screen and forward the application to whom? With recommendation for further action, within two months plus one month extension can be given. Means state level screening committee, within how much time they have to go ahead and do it? Screening should be done by within how much? Two months plus one month can, can extension can be given. Are we clear? And the screening will be done and the case will come over here. Or might be uh, all India level ka complaints directly comes to where? State screen, uh, standing committee. Are we clear everyone? It means it will come to the standing committee only if state level ka first it will, local nature ka complaint it will first go to whom state level screening committee and they will screen and give it over here national impact ka complaint will come directly to standing committee now standing committee after that review and for the direct application they will again screen it for that they will go ahead and again ensure whether documents are there evidence is there accuracy of the evidence etc see so they will go ahead and examine the accuracy and adequacy of the evidence provided in the application. Okay, evidences, let me go ahead and check them properly. To determine if there is a prima facie evidence to support the claim of profit ring, whether actually profit ring is happening or not happening, they will first go ahead and check. We had some issue. We are starting again. Everyone over here. Now, so what happened? Application goes over here and comes over here. Or application directly comes over here. What will the standing committee do, everyone? Standing committee will go ahead and examine the accuracy and adequacy with accurate is it accurate or not is it adequate or not enough or not they will go ahead and check and if there is a prima facie evidence to support the claim of profiting this guy is claiming that there is a profiting then within two months plus one month extension they will check who will check standing committee will check and send it to whom the director general of anti profiting can i go ahead everyone the next one over here sir now director general of anti profiting ke pass case will come. Now, Director General, before initiation of the proceeding, will issue a notice to the interested party. Hey, dosa seller, you come here. Hey, you dosa eater, you come here. Both of them he will call. He will investigate and collect evidence of the profiting. Now, complete the investigation within 6 months plus 3 month extension. Upon completion, they will furnish their 
One is National Anti Profiteering Authority go, they will give a report of its finding with relevant record. Now, National Anti Profiteering Authority was finally report has come. Standing committee, then DGAP, and then National Anti Profiteering Authority. Local nature, then screening committee, standing committee. Local nature, then sir, state level screening committee, then standing committee, then DGAP and then National Anti-Profitering Authority. Everyone over here. National Anti-Profitering Authority, may they are telling rule number 134. Quorum is minimum, how many number? Three people. Three people has to come for a meeting to be held basically for decision, etc. They will have people who are there. Three people is the minimum number of member. They will give opportunity of being heard. Hey, dosa seller, you come here. Hey, you eater, you come here. Then it may see clarification from DGAP on the report submitted. DGAP gave the report, no? So from DGAP, it can ask clarifications also. Then if National Anti Profiteering Authority determines a registered person has done profiteering, then it will pass an order within how much time? Six months. Now, when they pass an order, exam question, what can the National Anti-Profiteering Authority do when it is passing an order? See, they will go ahead and tell reduction in price. They will direct you to, hey, reduce your dosa price. Can we go ahead? Then, they will go ahead and return to recipient with interest. Hey, you made 2 rupees extra profit. No, that 2 rupees you return along with interest. He is telling, sir, thousands of people ate dosa. I don't know who and all ate, whom I should go ahead and return. No problem. Consumer welfare fund. Put it in the consumer welfare fund, we'll use for the benefit of the consumer. Everyone here, return to the recipient with interest at the rate of 18%, amount equivalent to benefit not passed on. Interest from the date of collection till the date of return because the day you collected, it was not yours. Amount collected representing as tax. Same way, amount collected which was not yours only. It was, it was never your profit. Please pay it immediately. If you not pay date of collection till the date of return. If eligible person does not claim or not identify well, how will you identify? Six months I made profit ring. How will I know who are the people who are there? Then they are telling deposit 50% in central consumer welfare fund, 50% in state consumer welfare fund with interest from the date of collection till the date of payment. Government is selling, we will take care. Next, they can also impose 10% of the amount profit or cap. Penalty, no penalty if amount is deposited within 30 days of order. They can also cancel your registration. For more, more knowledge, you can visit www.naa.gov.in. You will be able to find all these orders, etc. Sir, rule number 135 says non-compliance with the order immediately to attract recovery proceedings. Are we clear? They can also start recovery if you don't go ahead and make the payments, etc. Everyone over here. National anti profiteering Authority and DGAP can exercise the power to summon any person. Hey, five dosa, dosa eaters were there. Hey, all of you come. He can call anyone. They can go ahead and call anyone. Everyone over here. Sir, can he go ahead and send the case back to him saying, hey, do that investigation properly? Yes. Further investigation or inquiry in the ex existing investigation might be any further inquiry is required in if on receipt of the report of DGAP, National anti profiting Authority is of the opinion that further inquiry on investigation is required, then it may record reason and refer the matter back to DGAP for further inquiry or investigation. It can send it for further inquiry. New investigation, sir, DGAP went ahead and saw whether masala dosa, what was it? This was masala dosa. Who was eating? Rakesh. Okay, Rakesh is sitting over here. Now listen, now the anti profiting Authority has a doubt. That masala dosa means in idli also he is doing profit ring. In other items also he is doing profit ring. Yes or no? So they will go ahead and tell new investigation or inquiry can be ordered by the National Anti Profiting Authority. They say if on receipt of report of DGAP, Anti Profiting Authority has reason to believe that there is contravention of provision of section number 171 with respect to other goods, services, or both, because that's the nature of a person if he is doing cheating. One thing may he is doing means other things also I think he is doing. Let me go ahead and catch him. So he will tell DGAP, hey DGAP, this item he is selling mobile phone also. No, check to everyone. If it may direct DGAP to investigate or inquiry with respect to other good services or both. Your exam question. Can the case be referred back for further investigation? Yes. Can the case be referred back for new investigation? Yes. Now, the amendment in the chapter, government had gone ahead and told anti-profiting authority, national anti-profiting authority will be there only for 4 years. 4 years of GST already over, people are still doing profiting, they are not able to rectify people, people will keep doing only, so 4 years now made 5 years. They are telling, the tenure of the anti-profiting authority, national anti-profiting authority, this national anti-profiting authority got tenure 
was how much shall be four years earlier because their amendment for your November 20 exam five years from the date chairman enters his office. The chairman sat in the office on 30th November when the chairman assumed office. From that day, National Anti Profiting Authority came into existence. How many years it was? Four years. Amendment for your November 22 exam. Now it is made five years. In your exam, this is actually your next uh, miscellaneous topic is a C graded topic but 3 to 4 mark in my opinion they will go ahead and ask and in your miscellaneous topic C graded topic A graded topic is your anti profit ring authority right everyone I'll go ahead and close all my discussions over here take care everyone okay no 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 one minute huh done we are done with your chart of anti profit ring and national anti profit ring over here Done, Baba. I'll close my discussion over here.